Now let us discuss about the mutual inductance of a system of two coils. For that, let us consider two co coils. Let this be the first coil. Let's call that as coil S1. Uh, and another coil, I'm, I'm using the green color, which is kept, this co second coil is kept inside the first coil. Let's call that as coil S2. Although these two coils are, uh, I mean, the coil S2 is kept inside the first coil, although they are kept like this, they have almost equal areas. That is the radius of both these coils remains the same. So we can assume that area of the first coil is almost equal to area of the second coil. And for our, our convenience, like, let's take that as A, area of the cross section of the coil. Now, let, let's say a current I2 be passed through the first coil, sorry, second coil. And let's say N2, let N2 be the number of turns, number of turns per unit length of S2 that is the outer coil you know uh, since a current is flowing through a coil and that coil has a certain number of turns per unit length we have the magnetic field produced by the coil we know B2 magnetic field B2 is equal to mu0 number of turns per unit length times the current we have mu0 ni is the magnetic field for the second coil for the coil s2 we have mu0 equal to n2 times i2 clear now we have let's say there is no current passing through the for for, for as the first case we are not passing any current through the coil s1 so due to this magnetic field there is a flux linked with the first coil let's call that as phi 1 dash phi 1 dash means the flux linked with a a turn one turn of the coil s1 so we you can write phi 1 dash is the magnetic flux linked with the coil s1 due to the current in the second coil and you know phi 1 dash is equal to flux is always dot product of magnetic field and area here the magnetic field is due to the second coil so you can write b2 a and you don't have to write a1 because both the areas remains the same so phi 1 dash is equal to clearly the magnetic field will be in this direction so this is equal to b2 a cos 0 degree so this is equal to you can write b mu zero n two i two instead of b two. So mu zero n two i two into a cos zero is one. So cos zero is equal to one. So for, this is phi one dash. So phi one dash will be mu zero n two i two a. Clear. Now we have the length of both these coils is the same. So this is equal to L. You have phi 1 dash is equal to mu 0. You, ha you have the number of turns per unit length N2 is equal to total number of turns of the second coil divided by length. Number of turns per unit length is always number of total number of turns by length. So you can write N2 by L instead of small letter, small N2, I2A. Clear. Let's call this as equation number 1. Now, this is the magnetic field across one turn of the first coil. 
which is considered only one third. So the total flux associated with the sec first coil phi 1 will be a total number of turns of the first coil into phi 1 dash. Clear? That is, uh, there are n number of n1 number of turns for the first coil. So n1 into phi 1 dash. Mm -hmm. So the total flux linked with the first coil is equal to n1 into instead of phi 1 dash you can put mu 0 n2 i2 a divided by l. So if rearranging you will get phi 1 is equal to mu 0 let's write n1 and n2 together n1 n2 i2 a divided by l. Clear? Let's call that as equation number 2. Now we have we have by definition the flux phi 1 is equal to the mutual inductance of the first coil with respect to second coil since there are two coils first consider the mutual inductance of the first coil with respect to second coil we all we we know flux phi is equal to mutual inductance times current clear but phi 1 flux is due to the current in the second coil so you have to write i2 this is the expression for this is the expression for the magnetic flux but the magnetic flux in the coil 1 that is in the outer coil is due to the current in the second coil so phi 1 is equal to uh, m12 where m12 is the this is the mutual inductance of the first coil with respect to second coil so let's call that as equation number 3 now comparing 2 and 3 you know 2 is equal to 3 you can write m12 i2 is equal to mu 0 n1 n2 i2 a divided by l clear you can cancel this i2 and this i2 so the mutual inductance of the first coil with respect to the second coil is equal to mu 0 n1 n2 a divided by l clear uh, let me write uh, this aside because we, we also need to find the value of m21 that is the mutual inductance of the second coil with respect to first coil so we got m12 is equal to mu0 n1 n2 a divided by l clear now let's take the magnetic uh, sorry mutual inductance of the second coil with respect to first coil now we have a current i2 now we don't take the current i2 we, we, we are passing a current i1 through the first coil and this current will come out like this i1 now the magnetic flux linked with the first coil we know b1 is equal to mu0 n1 i1 clear we know magnetic field equal to see magnetic field of a solenoid is mu0 times n i where mu is the permeability clear clearly b1 is equal to mu0 you can write n1 is equal to total number of turns by l so n1 divided by l i1 now the magnetic flux linked with let's say let's take a turn phi 2 dash phi 2 dash literally means phi 2 dash literally means uh, the magnetic flux linked with a turn or one turn of the second coil this magnetic flux is due to uh, the uh, magnetic is due to the magnetic field in the first coil so b1 b1 dot a don't not need to write a1 and a2 sorry a2 because 
both of the areas remains the same. So phi 2 dash is equal to again the magnetic field is parallel to the area vector. So B1 A cos 0 degree. So instead of B1 you can write mu 0 N1 I1 by L into A cos 0 is 1. So phi 2 dash will be mu 0 n1 i1 a divided by l. Now the total flux linked with the second coil you know phi 2 is equal to number of turns total number of turns of the second coil into the magnetic flux associated with one turn phi 2 dash. So phi 2 will be total flux linked with the second coil will be n2 into Instead of phi 2, you can put mu 0 n1 i1 a divided by L. So rearranging, you will get rearranging, you will get phi 2 is equal to mu 0 n1 n2 i1 a divided by L. Let's call that as equation number 1. Now by definition we know the magnetic flux linked with the second coil phi 2 will be due to the current or you know flux phi is equal to mutual inductance into current. But here the flux linked with the second coil is due to the current in the first coil. So, M21 I1, since the phi 2 is due to the current in the first coil, also we are taking the mutual inductance of the second coil with respect to first coil. So, let us write M21, call that as equation number 2. From 1 and 2, you, you can see that both the, the equation remain, those the equation uh, say about phi 2. So they are same. So 1 is equal to 2. You can write m21 i1 is equal to equal to mu 0 n1 n2 i1 a divided by l. So i1 and i1 will get cancelled. So m21 is equal to mu 0 n1 n2 a divided by l clear now let's look at the case of m21 and m12 clearly there is no difference between m21 and m12 both this equation is mu0 n1 n2 a by l so clearly m12 is equal to m21 let us say M. So the mutual, in, so we can say that or we can infer that mutual inductance is not, is the property of the system. It is, it is not the property of the individual coil. So mutual, you can write mutual inductance M is equal to mu 0 N1 N2 A divided by L. Clear.